It's not considered a glitch. Hi, Fire Splitter. Hi, Lila. Uh, yeah, I, I won't be able to read that much chat because I have to focus on this. Okay, this is the first area of the game. The garden. And we're gonna see uh, Willy. And we have to do quite a lot of things here to pro progress, but it's gonna be fast because it's a speedrun. Yeah, this is the first task. Get in the garden. Now we steal the keys. Easy peasy. Oh, Willy, please let, let me through, please. Yeah, just honk to stall him. And then we get him wet. First we get him wet. And then we get his hat. And we do this by taking this flower here and making him plant, plant the flower again. And then we can snatch his hat right off his hat. So he's gonna wear another hat. Yeah, uh, this is a problem right now because he might see me. Oh, thanks for the gift, Sav. I really appreciate it, Link. Thank you very much. And now the rake is gonna go into the lake. Fun fact, in Polish, rake in the lake also rhymes, because it's Grabie Vestavie. And now we just unlock the final task of the area. And I'm gonna mess up the garden a bit, because by doing this, we have a chance that when we return here, with the bell, that Willy is um, busy cleaning up his garden and won't care for the bell. So now we say goodbye to the garden already, but we don't say goodbye to Willy yet, because Willy actually needs to come with us to buy his shovel bag. Because that's one task in the next area. Make somebody buy back their own stuff. And in a casual play playthrough, you would usually do that with Timmy, the boy. But that takes too long in a speedrun, so we just do this instead. And the reason I stole his keys before is that, like, the keys are his number one prior priority. And th this way he doesn't pick up the shovel when I drop it, which is really nice. Now I have to position it in a really, like, small spot. And it worked! It worked out just fine. Now he's gonna buy back, I'm gonna steal his glasses, because Timmy's glasses are very old, so I'm just gonna give him some new ones. But first we need to get on TV. Okay, I have to wait for the sound cue of the door opening. And now I can get on TV and give Timmy new glasses. Go go Otaku, welcome! Okay. Now the last thing we have to do to progress is break the broom. I'm just gonna run here and she's gonna chase me and I'm gonna get this already. And let's just break the broom. Get the thingy. Right, I, I, I'm just, don't worry about me. I'm just interrupting to say thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, who was that that donated? Um, who donated? That was Gogo Otaku with fifty dollars. Nice. Mario Odyssey nipple percent is now there. Oh yeah, baby! So thank, thank you, you so very much, much for the and I'll let you finish your run. Thank you very much, and thank you for the donation. Yeah, now we are done with the high street, and we actually take this toy to the next area. Uh, it's, I think it's called a viewfinder. It's this toy where you can look look inside and then press a button, and then the picture changes. And we actually use this for a task in the next area. Um, called Help the Woman Dress Up the Bus, and this will count as the glasses. Okay, Roger, so a newspaper cycle, that's very nice. Oh, the planks are very far into the garden, so I'm, I'm gonna do a little bit of marathon safety here. Because when they're this far into the garden, he sometimes uh, sees the planks, which is not good. Okay. Just playing it a bit safe here. Okay, now he's gonna throw this thing over, and we're actually gonna steal two of his things. You need three things for the bus. A hat, some, a pair of glasses, and something for the mouth. In this case, a pipe. You can also use a toothbrush or a flower. It's... There are quite a lot of possibilities. You can also use a traffic cone as a hat, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't open the thing. Okay. Yeah, now we need to bring this to the statue, so Tina's gonna help us dress up the bust. And I'm always turning the flower here because it's cute and because I can. 
Uh, the head is there actually. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, now we're gonna wait for her to do this. And I'm not sure if I can catch the cycle with Roger. Probably not. Yeah, I, I could have gotten it, but then maybe Tina would have gotten, gotten distracted and stuff, so... Let's just play it safe here. It is a marathon after all. So let's just... Yeah, now it's important to keep Tina in the upper end of the, of the garden, actually. Okay. Yeah, now Tina does not see the bell yet. I hope she's going too soon. Yeah, she saw the bell. Fullpix, welcome! Rosa, hello! Schön, dass ihr alle da seid. Nice of you to be here. Okay. Uh, we have to wait for Tina to reset the bell before we can get dressed up and become a fancy goose. Okay, this should be enough. Yeah, nice. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, just go in here. This is my hydration station. Okay. And now we're gonna uh, get... Gonna be a fancy goose. Pack the bush to keep her here in the area. Oh no! This was... Close, but... Ah, uh, she saw the vase, but I think it's okay because... She's gonna forget about the vase instantly. Let's see if I can catch the cycle here. I think I can make it. Oh, this was close, but it worked out just fine. Now Roger's gonna throw the thing over. We're gonna lose the ribbon. That's actually important. Otherwise, uh, Roger's gonna aggro on it and throw it over before he does what he's supposed to do. Because now he's supposed to get this sign here. To make his own anti-goose sign. <laughs> and this gives us the chance to drag this planter. So Tina will cut the rose. Okay. Roger's gonna be devastated because his, uh, the valuable rose is kaput. Now we're gonna get this bra here to make Tina run after us, because otherwise she would like just walk here and this... It would take forever, so... We speed it up a bit. And the reason we take the bra and not the socks is that it's uh, the um, socks actually slow us down because, yeah, it's just like this. Okay, now I'm gonna mess up the garden here as well, like we did in Willy's garden, so that there is a chance that Tina is gonna be occupied during the bell return and will not care about me having the bell, which would be actually super impressive and helpful. But let's see. Now we come into the infamous pub area, which has killed many runs. And the first person we're gonna encounter here is Vinny. I hate Vinny, I have a, I have a very... Uh, yeah, a, a passionate hate for this person. He's actually supposed to follow me, which he did not, which could be a problem. But let's just see. We're gonna perform for this lovely queer couple here. And now we're gonna make this old man fall on his bum. And to speed up the other task we have to do with him, I'm gonna hide his chair. Okay, now I have to get the pint glass out of the pub, which could be a problem because uh, Vinny might be here. Okay, he's gonna chase me, but it's no problem. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be faster. Easy peasy. Okay, pray that the glass won't break. <laughs> Nice. Okay, this is actually going pretty well. Shout out to the queer couple. Yes, of course. I call her Lily and Felice. Whoever can guess uh, what this is de derived from is gonna get specialty points. Okay, this is the old man down. Now all we have to do is get the toy boat. And Elvira is actually in a super good spot to, to do this. It's actually super great because I don't want her to chase me. This is actually fine. Run, goose, run. Yes, the goose is running. Boat is hard. Yeah, it depends. I mean... Oh, she actually saw me again. Mm, so we just do this instead. You always need backup strats in the goose game. It's like so important. Turn off the water. And now I have to do something very specific to make her not think about the boat. I hope I will get it. During her any anger animation, I'm gonna bop her. And she's gonna do what she's supposed to do. Nice, very good. 
Okay, Vinny, it's bucket time. Please follow me. Yeah, now Vinny's gonna get his just punishment because he's just an evil man. He's a very evil man. And we're gonna put the tomatoes on the floor. Make him see us so he runs there. Oh, was he just blocked by Elvira? Yeah, I, th I think so. Yeah, okay, this works out. F just fine, second try, good enough. <laughs> and now he's gonna get a bucket on his head. And because I'm a horrible goose, I'm gonna break this glass. Yay! <laughs> Honk. Okay, now comes the scariest part of the run, at least in my opinion. I have to walk past Vinny at the trash can and I always mess this up. Okay, I messed it up a bit. Oh, okay, this is actually bad. Yeah, no problem, just open his shoelaces, make him fall on his face, easy peasy. Yeah, you can actually walk past him without him catching you, but that's quite hard actually, at least in my opinion. Okay, now we're gonna climb somewhere where we're not supposed to, but since we're not using an item, this is not a glitch. Oh, the strong gooseneck, first try. Sometimes I really struggle with this for some reason. Now we're gonna mash the potatoes here. The potatoes on our controller to get the shiny bell to add to our collection. Okay, let's go. We need hard to get past. Yeah, the corners are weird and uh, there. Okay, and the bell is ours. And now we're gonna have the bell return, which means we have to get the bell through all the areas we just went through, and everybody's on alert mode trying to steal the bell back from us, and since I untied the shoelaces of any, he's very much likely to uh, hear now. <gasps> but he's in a favorable spot for us, actually. That's super good for us. It's actually very nice. Oh, but the problem is that... Um, Robin, the delivery person, is actually too close, so we're just gonna do a safe strat. When we lure everybody up there on the patio, and then we just go with the bell and say goodbye to the pub. Yeah, back gardens. The path is gonna be blocked with the gates, so we can now go through this metal gate here. And let's see if the manipulation paid off or not. No, it did not, but it's okay, it's no problem. Don't worry about it. Ah, uh, nice. This is what's supposed to happen. Very nice. That worked out very nicely. Now Roger is supposed to see us. Okay. Great. Very easy back gardens. No problem at all. Okay, now High Street. In High Street, now there's a chance that uh, Willy is gonna buy back his shovel for the second time. And that would actually, actually be the most favorable RNG. But let's see if we actually get this good RNG or not. It would be very nice. <laughs> we did not get the favorable RNG, but that's no problem. Yeah. Timmy is easy every time. You just honk at him. He's, he, he gets scared. He runs away. Nice glasses, Timmy. Are, 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 are they new? Okay. Willy has a chance of being here in this alleyway, but fortunately he's not. Is he cleaning up something? No. He's at the usual spot, so easy peasy, just lure him here, walk around, and we're done! Now we, c we can go to the nest and add this lovely bell to our bell collection. Holy shit, I cannot believe this run has gone so great. Because I did practice runs today and they went horrible. They went absolutely horrible, so I'm quite proud of this, actually. Yes, uh... Oh, we, we played in Russian and I didn't say Davai once. This is weird. This is the Goose Game. Any plant glitchless in Russian. Spasiba? Alright, I might have split... I might have split a little bit late, but that's roughly 15 minutes even there. 15 minutes? Yeah, not bad, actually. Not bad. Yeah, and my... your next game is... Do 
going to have Teddy a penalty for it. Yeah, let's just enjoy the credits because my, my estimate for the games are really high. So we, we can enjoy the, the credits. Yeah, this is a good boost game. It's a very fun game to speedrun. In my opinion, the best speed game ever, to be honest. Um, let me just show, show off my honk shirt here. The honks of doom. Yeah, this actually has quite a few categories. Like, what you saw now was 80% glitchless. Um, but thank you, Rosa. Thank you, Gogotaku. Thank you, Lida. Thank you, everybody. Um, yeah, any percent glitchless. The any percent category is actually just two minutes. Like the world record is two minutes and eleven seconds or something. It's really good. Um, it, it involves a lot of glitches, and there are countless other categories. I think we have over twenty categories, and all are fun in their own way. So, I can highly recommend playing this casually. I can highly recommend playing this. Um, as a speed game, it's really fun. It has enough RNG to always make the runs interesting, but not enough RNG to actually kill runs. Yeah, it's it's really fun. Pick up the goose game. There's a speedrunning Discord you can join. And with the credits ending, I'm just gonna say, honk. <laughs> yeah, honk in the chat. Okay. This is the goose game, and I'm just gonna quit it now. Meow. Meow. Yes. Okay. Quit. Da. Da and yet. Okay. Next up is gonna be Teddy Floppy Ear Mountain Adventure. Yep. And then you'll have to tell me when to hit start timer and yeah, I'm I'm uh, just gonna do a countdown, I guess, because the timer starts when yep. I pre when I press play. Play. Um, is it correct that we are playing in Polish today? I believe so. I will double check quick. Because last time sure I checked, it was two it was donate. two dollars for Polish and zero dollars for English. So pulling that up right now, it's still Polish. Okay, that's actually funny because um. Let me tell you a little story. For quite a long time, this this game uh, had a world record that was just standing there. And then I came in and I was like, no, I'm not going to accept this. <laughs> and I actually beat the world record because I found um, some skips. And yesterday, I actually beat my own world record by almost two minutes just by changing the language from English to Polish. Uh, because for some reason, the Polish uh, like language output is faster. Um, so I'm so similar to how most uh, most games they do Japanese text because it's faster. Yeah, this game only has English and Polish, so Polish is ob obviously the better the better option here. And yeah, we're just gonna click on Grai, which means play. I'm gonna put away my controller real quick so it's not in the way because I'm gonna need my mouse a lot in this game. Okay, yeah, this is actually a children's game. Based on a series called Mish Ushatek, which means Teddy Floppy Ear. It's a Polish TV show for kids. I think it was first done in the 50s or something. Um. Yeah, now we're gonna click on Nova Gra, new game, and this is gonna start the timer. Um, Could you make sure that you have it in your uh, window capture? Oh! Of course, I'm sorry, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize. <laughs> but put from Goose to window cap to the other game. Yeah, I didn't realize. I'm really sorry. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Teddy Floppy Ear is on. Not Yay. everybody's switching games today. No, no. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be roughly 30 to 35 minutes. Yeah, it was, uh, we just fixed that. So, but th thank you for telling. Um, All right. Whenever you're ready, you can give me the countdown. Okay, the countdown. Three, two, one, play. Novagra. All right, um, just give me a warning in the commentary when you're coming up on the end so I can get back yes. in here to let it the right time. Oh, I'm afraid the audio might be a little bit too low in this game, but it should be fine. Okay, we are Teddy Floppy here, and we are visiting our uncle. Oh, yes, my wujek. Yes, my wujek. Yeah, um, some of the dialogues in this game are skippable, but not all of them. Please don't ask me why. Please don't ask me why they chose to make some skippable and some not. It doesn't make any sense to me, but this is how the game is. Um, 
Yeah, the subtitles are actually in English, so you can kind of know what's going on here, but I'm gonna explain it. We never talked to this person, by the way. <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna go to our uncle and talk to him, and he's like, Oh, I have this camera in my basement, don't you want to take some photos? And we're like, yeah, sure, but the key to the basement is lost. So our first quest in this game is to find the key of the basement. <laughs> okay, um, actually, yeah, we just go to the garden now because the key is in the, in the nest that's in the tree in the, of the garden. And um, we talk to this bee here to find out who this nest belongs to. And the bee also told us that there was a bear destroying the flowers when he tried to get the honey of the of the bees. Yeah. I actually think Teddy Floppy is quite cute. Uh, so we, we're, first we're going to talk to the magpie to get the key, but then we're also going to talk to the bear to tell him that he should not uh, destroy the flowers of the bees. And. Yeah, the the other bear we're gonna talk to. He's the most adorable character in this whole game. I have such a friend crush on this bear. Like <laughs> he's so fucking adorable. This is the magpie, and we're gonna tell her, hey, what about the key? And she's like, oh yeah, I, I found it. I thought it it belonged to nobody. So just come come to the garden and I, I give it back. Fujka means uncle. Okay, now we're gonna get back. Yeah, and we, we never talked to this person uh, as well, like this train person. There are actually, I think, four people we never talked to. Those are the, the two. Okay, now we can actually get the key from the, uh, from the uh, magpie. Because she will be back in her nest. And then we can get the camera. And start taking photographs. Ushatku? Yeah, Ush Ushatku means floppy ear. That's the name of the teddy. Dziękuję. Dziękuję. Proszę, proszę. We're actually l l learning some Polish here. It's actually very great. Dziękuję means thank you. Proszę means please or you're welcome. So, if you ever go to Poland, you can say thank you and please. Uh, yeah, now we're gonna go to the basement. Oh, thanks for linking my channel. I appreciate it. Yeah, uh, on my channel I usually stream uh, speedruns, mostly Untitled Goose game, sometimes this game, sometimes um, The Little Mermaid, for example. I also run Hello Kitty, that which you saw earlier by uh, Linka, which was very fun. Now we get the camera. And we also get this pot to give to the bear, because then the bear can store the honey in the pot instead of destroying the flowers. You can keep bits and bobs in it. Yeah, actually the, the English uh, voice of this game is, is super funny sometimes. Like the voice actor is so funny, I love, I love it so much. Now comes the first minigame we have to do. We have to select five items to take on the trip. I'm going to put in my rucksack. Yeah, it's actually the same word in German, Rucksack. Kind of funny. And we're gonna see some other words that are nearly the same in, in German and in, in Polish. Okay, now that we got the camera, we actually uh, wanted to go to our wujek, our uncle. But first we need to talk to, to the bear, because the bees are quite angry. Dzień dobry means good, good day. Yeah, this is a skippable um, dialogue, so we, we actually skip it. And we're like, hey, could you please not destroy the flowers of the bees? And he's like, yeah, sure, sorry, I'm, I'm gonna go apologize. Vujka. Now we go to the to the Vujek, the uncle. Yeah, those carvings on the rock there, they're gonna play a role later in the, in the story. Because we're gonna uncover a big mystery in the game. Be prepared to be surprised. Okay, now we talk to our uncle. Our uncle's actually a painter. As you can see, and this whole game is actually about art and color and shapes and stuff like this. Uh, to teach children like basic stuff about yeah colors, shapes and stuff. Last time I played this, the game crashed here, so let's pray this not just not happen. 
cool, yo. Yeah, so now we're supposed to do some mini games to test our like artistic uh, uh, skills, but we're not gonna do them. We have to do a second mini game here. Where we have to spot the differences between two pictures, but we're not going to do that either. We're only doing four mini games in the whole game because they are unskippable. We're not going to do this mini game, although it takes like only five seconds or something. Okay, now we're going to take our first photograph of the crocus. I have a hair on my tongue. That's so annoying. Yeah, this is going to be the first of ten photos we're going to take in the whole game. We're going to photograph five flowers and five animals. And the photos are going to play a role later in the game. Yeah, now we're supposed to take a photo of the bear. We're just going to be very easy. We're just going to say cheese and bear's like, oh, sure. Może to wie uda się go namówić do zdjęcia. Spróbuję. Spróbuję. Wujku, czy wiesz coś o znakach wyrytych na malowaniu? Yeah, the markings. Like our uncle's like, oh, I have no idea about this, but we're going to find out. And we're gonna uncover the mystery of the game. The mysterious markings. Okay, now we're gonna go talk to the bear to take a photo of him. And the photo is gonna be super adorable. You will see. Nie dźwiedziu, poproszę o uśmiech. Co? Zdjęcie? To ja poproszę. The bear is so adorable, I love him so much. Dziękuję, thank you. Yeah, the bear is actually one of the trophies on the leaderboard on speedrun.com. Like, the face of the bear. First place is obviously Teddy Floppy here. The bear is third place, I believe. I actually made those trophies and the, the mods were so kind to put them in, so... Thank you, dziękuję. Okay. Bravo, Bravo, okay, talking to the uncle now unlocks the next uh, area in the game. Yeah, the uncle is like, hey, for this painting I need photographs of four animals and four flowers. And... This is now our main quest in the game, taking those photos, but also helping other animals. So, because we are a very good teddy and we help everybody, everybody lo loves us, we love everybody. This is, yeah, <laughs> actually adorable. This hair is really annoying me right now, holy shit. This is the shepherd, and the shepherd is like, hey, if you're gonna give me a painting, I'm gonna tell you an, an interesting story. And guess what this story is gonna be about? Fotografując przyrodę. A malować potrafis troszeczkę. Mój wujek jest malarzem. Hej, w zamian za pikny łabrazek łapowiem ciaka o historii. Będę do wujka i wrócę ze śniadania. I got the hair out of my mouth. Hype! <laughs> okay, now we actually want to go to the uncle again to ask him to make a painting. But the path is actually blocked by this little goat here. And she's like, I'm not gonna let you cross unless you give me candy. <laughs> Which is very relatable. Atoklops. Atoklops is actually very funny because klops is a word in German and means meatball. Okay, although she's not gonna let us uh, cross, we still uh, are allowed to take a photo of her, which is very nice. And the goat is also really adorable. To be honest, I think everybody is kind of adorable in this game. Okay, um, and now we're gonna tell the shepherd that we can't reach our uncle. But he's gonna give us a solution. Yeah, this is an unskippable dialogue again, so... But Inaczej bym ją na cztery wiatry przegonił. I co teraz? Tu niedalecko jest skrzyżowanie dwóch szlaków. Czerwonym szlakiem dojdzie z to. Yeah, the shepherd just told us that there's a um, cable car line that we can use to get to the town. But first we're gonna take a photograph of this car line thistle, as this flower is called. 
Is this actually Gänseblümchen in German? I have no idea to be honest. Kind of looks like a Gänseblümchen. Which is funny, because Gänseblümchen literally means goose flower. Very fitting again for this run. This is a Marmot. We're gonna talk to the Marmot later in the game. So we have to come back here. Because the Marmot is gonna give us something that we need. But first we need to take the f uh, photograph of this flower again. And then we're gonna go to the cable car station. But uh, as you might have guessed already, there's gonna be a problem. Oh yes, Gensimich is Daisy. That's very correct. I have still a hair on my... Like, what, what, what's with, with all those hairs today? Yeah, those are the two people we also don't to, uh, never talk to. I'm really sorry about this, but... <laughs> Yeah, the car, car, cable car operator uh, says, oh, it's not working because there's an eagle sitting on the line. And since we're such a good teddy, we're gonna talk to the eagle and find out what's wrong here. Are there cows in this game? Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe in the background somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, and now we find out that the eagle actually lost his glasses, so that's why he can't see anything and can't fly away. Dobrze, right. But yeah, we're gonna find the glasses. Because if you paid close attention before, you may have seen them already. <laughs> They're in the pile of rubbish surrounding the marmot. And now we're going to ask the marmot to take a photo of, of her. And she's like, no, not in this pile of rubbish. And we're like, no problem, we're going to clean it up. And among the things here is the gla are the glasses. And this is the second minigame we do in the game that is required. And it's totally RNG. Okay, let's get... I have to concentrate because this is actually not that easy. To do this quick, at least. I always forget this apple here. Uh, this was not 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 too bad, but not too fast either. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it's always random which items are lying where. And now that it's cleaned up, we can actually take a photo of this lovely marmot. And then we're going to talk to her again to get the glasses. Yeah. Okulary. Yeah, now we're going to get the glasses and give them to the eagle. So he can fly away and the cable car can operate again. Problem solved. I'm really happy the game hasn't crashed so far. <laughs> Recycle percent, exactly. It's actually cool, like, to uh, make it aware that you should uh, not leave rubbish in nature, actually. I think it's a, that's very nice, actually. It's a very good message. Now we're gonna... Oh, wait. Uh, I was once one step ahead of myself. <laughs> First we have to go to the, to the eagle. So, this is not gonna be a world record now. <laughs> But I already got the world record, so it's not not really a problem. Thank you very much. Yeah, actually the eagle is asking us if we, if we will want to take a photo of him. Which is kind of funny, actually. I think he's the only animal to do this. I think the others we have to actually ask ourselves and click click to make a photo. Yeah, um, we're saying goodbye to the eagle for now, but we're gonna see him later again in the game. Okay, now we're gonna tell this operator person that everything is alright. And um, for our service for the cable car, we're gonna get two free tickets. And with those, uh, with, with one of those tickets, we're gonna go down to the um, to the village. To see our uncle. Yeah, this is actually an unskippable cutscene. 
if there are any donations or, or something, they could, could be read now. <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna arrive at, at the village and our uncle's actually back, back home and we're gonna talk to him and paint a picture for the shepherds. Yeah, the funny thing is you can actually paint a picture there and you're actually supposed to, but of course we just skip it because it's a speedrun. But no matter what you paint there, you always get another picture in your in your, in your inventory, like always the same picture with, 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 the, sh with the sheep. Because of course a shepherd wants to have a picture of sheep, right? <laughs> What else? Yeah, now we're gonna paint paint the picture. No, this is not the end of the trip. Don't worry. We're only halfway through, so. Yeah, since this is a marathon, let's just uh, paint something. <laughs> okay. But regardless, we get the same picture every time. Okay, great. Now we got this lovely picture. Gay, yeah, very gay. <laughs> okay, we're just missing three photos. Um, two flowers, one animal. So now we can actually go this way again. We don't have to take the cable car because the uh, goat will actually be gone. I tested if it would be faster to take the cable car again, but it actually takes more time because of the cutscene. Rosa, thanks for the emotes. Shout out to all the trans lesbians out there. Okay. Let's go. This is actually a fun speedrun in my opinion. I'm, I, I'm, I, don't, I, I don't know. Some people don't like point and click speedruns and I can understand why, but I kind of like it. At least this game. Yeah, the goat is gone. What about trans pancakes? Uh, sorry, I don't get the joke right now. Sorry. Uh, this is a skippable. Yeah, now the shepherd actually wants us to do some music with him. Like, to make his sheep sing. Which is a mini game, but we skip it. Trans pants. Ah. <laughs> Shout out to trans pants as well. Okay, the shepherd actually told us a story. I'd enjoy being a pancake. Pancakes are very fluffy if, if, you, ma if you make them right, so... Um, yeah, the shepherd actually told us that you have to move a boulder to open... to reveal an entrance to a secret cave. And guess what we're gonna do? No, we are not going to move the boulder because we're just a small teddy. We're gonna ask the big bear for help. And he's gonna move the boulder for us. Yeah, those are the mysterious markings. Okay, the bear's gonna help us here. Everybody's helping everybody in this game, it's lovely. I think it's very lovely, like, I think I would have liked this game as a child. Yeah, the bear's just gonna wait here. Okay, um, yeah, it's very cold in this cave. But luckily, we have those matches here. And conveniently, there's also a candle here. <laughs> Surprise! And in the next room, we are gonna befriend some somebody. Guess what animal it's gonna be? A bat. Yeah, the dialogue was something like, oh, next room is so dark, you, you can't go in there. And uh, the teddy was like, no problem, I have a candle and matches. Very bad, yes. And now we're gonna uncover the big mystery of the game. What will we find in this cave? Nobody knows. Sleeping Bedra Nights. This is the mystery of the game. A pshik. Yeah, now one Bedra is actually waking up and the bed is like, no, 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 we can't have this. 
So we have to do something to make them go to sleep again. And if you paid attention to uh, in the in the last room, you might have seen something that could help us here. A music box. Which would actually unlock another mini game, which we're not gonna do. Because mini game doing mini games is slow and this is a speedrun. Okay. Most pants I know make a lot of puns. <laughs> yeah. Pun sexual. Positivka. Positivka. This is actually th th this sounds very funny in the English version. A music box. It will play a lullaby tune. Yeah, and now we're gonna photograph the bed, and this is all the animals done already. And then we're only missing two more flowers. One is gonna be right at the entrance exit of the cave. Yeah, this is gonna be underestimate. This is very nice. Pansexual like huh? I'm gonna I'm gonna be quoted in this channel, okay? <laughs> Great job. Okay. Now we have the photo of the bed, who's actually super adorable as well. Because if you haven't guessed already, all animals in this game are adorable. Pancakes, yes, let's make pancakes all day long. This is uh, the, the second to last flower. The last flower is actually going to be in the reservat, in the reserve, but we don't have access to this yet. First we have to do some things and help some people. And the first person we're going to help is going to be this lovely goat here. And this is the third mini game that we have to do in this game. This is also RNG. It's basically a whack-a-mole game. You have to click on the marmots that uh, have the carabineers. And we need 10. 10 carabineers. Good job. Sometimes four at the same time pop up. This is actually going well. Easy. In my PB, I actually missed one. Yeah. And I think at some point, the only way to beat the world record would, would be to have good RNG in the, in the mini games you actually have to do. This is also very funny in the English version. Like, the way Teddy Floppy Air pronounces this word is so funny. And what are the climbing carabineers for? It's so adorable. I think the uh, Polish version. I think I think they actually speak speak faster. I believe. Okay, now we're gonna talk to the bed. And the bed is like. Yeah. Because of, because uh, the entrance is visible, the, the lights might wake up again. So we have to close the. Um, we have to close the cave again. And guess we're gonna ask for help. <laughs> the bear. <laughs> the bear is so adorable. Holy shit. Holy shit. And yeah, now we have to walk all the way around. So if, if there's anything um, that can be read, like donations or any mes messages, now would be a good time. But if there's not, I'm just gonna talk. Hello, Shepherd. How are you doing? Bah, bah, bah. The sheep makes no funny sounds. Okay. I mean, I can go through some of the incentives that we have yet to Yeah, meet, please so do this. Because we have to walk all, all the way all right. back again, so. Yep. So, we have met Nipple Percent from Mario Odyssey, but we still need to meet Go Vacation Grandmaster, the Costume Percent, uh, Hard Mode for Mighty Genvolt Burst, uh, Endless yeah. Easy for Bleed 2, the Sprite Pack for Mega Man 4, Pugsy's Sega CD version, <laughs> the two levels <laughs> in Toe Jam and Earl, to Cycling Clip in uh, Wii Sports Resort, Memer Tail, still waiting to see about the 16 bun bounties, I almost said, bun I almost said bundles, uh, in Lego Star Wars 3, Hard Mode for Arkham, uh, we have the bonus treasure, but not the extra boss for Wizards and Warriors. 
we're still waiting to hear back about all cutscenes for Ghostbusters. And as far as polls go, uh, we're still looking for difficulty to be chosen between easy and default. And we've got plenty of uh, name entries that are open for picking for the next game coming up, which is going to be Silent Service. Uh, thank you very much for... And, oh, okay, so, sorry. Uh, and uh, right now, we don't have anything on Saber Harvest the Little Sisters in both Bioshock games. So, now we actually come back to... Uh, thank you, this one, for uh, uh, the incentives. Uh, get your donations in if you want those incentives. So, we're gonna talk to the bed and tell her that everything is fine again. Dużemu niedźwiedziowi udało się zastawić wejście do jaskini. Dziękuję, usiadku. Dziękuję, usiadku. And now we can go to, to the reserve. But... Yeah, no, he, we, we, we're gonna meet an old friend of ours. The eagle. Kogóż ja widzę? Zobacz and mi, co się stało something is wrong, of course. A tu zaczyna się the sign is tak broken. And we have to fix that. Próbuję so the tourists don't just go here. Żeby turyści wiedzieli, because it's like a restricted area for animals dobrze, to live. Bo widzisz, mam tu Aww, gniazd, thank you. Lila. Yeah, also big shout out to all the inter people watching. Because they are often forgotten. Oh, wait. Is that my, uh... Okay, interesting. I'm confused right now. Uh, this is my follow alert playing, because my OBS is open. Uh, so, whoever just followed me, thank you very much. Chciałbym przytwierdzić tabliczkę do słupka. It's so weird that it plays auto. I don't no, have it in my current scene. Sznurka. Yeah. Sznurek Sznurka. So that's actually funny. String means Sznurka in Polish. And that's funny because in um, German it means Schnur. So. Yeah. Eagle Bab. Yeah, the eagle um, uh, baby is actually super cute. Let's pet the, be the eagle baby a bit. It's really no problem. I, I don't really get why they play even though I have another scene selected, but yeah, <laughs> never mind. Piąty kwiatek sfotografowany. Okay, now we have all the flowers and all the animals and now it's time to go back to our wujka. And we should teleport there, so we don't have to walk all the way back again, which is actually very convenient. And now we're gonna do the last mini game, just so obvious works as a but yes, kind of. This is gonna be now the last mini game that we're gonna do here, um, where we have to place all the animals and all the flowers in the painting our uncle made. And I think it's actually very adorable. What? You can... Look, you can change the, the brushes here. I've ne never seen this before. <laughs> this is so funny. Holy shit. Okay, I have to concentrate a little bit now. Just a little bit. Don't worry about it. Okay, the goat is gonna go here on the rock. The spear is gonna go on this rock. The marmot is gonna go on this rock. And the bat is gonna fly out of the cave here. The eagle is gonna go there. This is gonna go to the dry tree. Crocus is gonna go here. Idlewise is gonna go here. This is gonna go here. And this is gonna go here. And this is, go here. And this is a mini game done. Easy peasy. Hurrah! Hurrah! Mamy gotowe dzieło. And now we're almost done. Bardzo ci um, dziękuję, Uszatku. We're just gonna get a little souvenir now ale, ale from our wujek. Zaraz odjeżdża mój pociąg. Honey for gingerbread. Poczekaj, mam dla ciebie coś na pamiątkę. Album na twoje zdjęcia. Album ze zdjęciami. Pamiątka od wujka. Żegnaj, Uszatku. Żegnaj. Bardzo dziękuję. Do widzenia, wujku. Do widzenia. Yeah, do widzenia means see you in Polish. Do widzenia. And now we're just gonna go to the, to the trench station and um, time is gonna end as soon as the screen fades to black. When I click on the train and enter, the screen is gonna fade to black. 
So, since this is a marathon, let's just talk to this lovely person here. Why doesn't Teddy want a biscuit? Like, what the fuck? I would say yes every time of the day. Okay, time is gonna co is, is coming up here. As soon as the screen fades to black, it's time. And time. And now we're gonna enjoy the, the cutscene, which is very lovely. It was an unforgettable expedition. I got to know the mountains and I learned something. If you want to see how beautiful the world is, start, start looking, looking around. around. You only have to know how to look carefully. And this is where art helps. And I this got my this photo alive. album from my uncle as a souvenir. Look. This is Teddy Floppy, your mountain adventure. Thank you very much for having me. I love this game so much. And thank you for having this game in this marathon. It's awesome. I'm just gonna let my cat out here as uh, well. Uh, okay, I have, I have five more minutes. Uh, so I'm just gonna wanna give a quick shout out to to all the trans people watching, to all the intra people watching, all the NBs watching, the non-binary people. You're all awesome and great. Uh, basically all queer people. You're all awesome. And I love you so much. And thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting me in the chat. And yeah, thank you for having me. This was my very first marathon and I was so fucking nervous and it, it actually went great. I'm so happy about this. So have some pride emotes yep. and... You're very, very, very thank glad you very to have had you. And next up we have uh, Karis Daedlin. Yes, that is correct. Uh, can you hear me? Yep, I can hear you. Okay, cool. So, uh, Karis, what are you going to be playing for us? Well, uh, I'll be playing Silent Service. I think it's a great thing to play for a uh, retro gaming because uh, it's one of those games that is probably sitting in thousands of secondhand stores across the, the world. Uh, it really doesn't get played very much due to how complicated it is. So I'm kind of hoping maybe to spark some interest and spark some donations. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. Now, uh, Leica, if you want to count down from five, and yes. then when you hit zero, hit end stream, and then if okay, you I'm gonna do that. start the count up to five and start stream after uh, Leica has gone offline. Okay, then I'm gonna be out in five, four, three, two, one.